I have something I'm working on for a future Solar Sunday, a couple episodes from now. And I'd like to have your guys' opinion on it. So here's a new inverter, but here are the lights I'm setting up. Or at least I'm testing. This might be two or three Solar Sundays from now, because I want to get a few other things going first. But when I saw these, I was really like, you know what, I think these are going to be great. So I bought two whole strings of this, and I bought like eight of high power bulbs. So each one of these bulbs is half a watt, and then the, the brighter bulbs I have in the middle are four watts a piece. LED, of course. Now, there are some issues with the frequency of it, so I might add like a rectifier at the end. But, let's see that. There. I need to screw that down harder. The watertight seal up at the top ma makes it kind of hard to screw it in. So yeah, this is this is not going to be a full Solar Sunday video, but I'm just I'm wanting your, your guys' opinions on this. So what I plan to do is I plan to run one to that tree over here, maybe way up there. Because I want it to be no lower than 10 feet at the middle. That way I have plenty of room to work on stuff. These bulbs are actually plastic, so that's pretty cool. So if I hit those with like a 2x4 or something tall, those most likely won't break. But these ones are glass, however. So I'll probably put like a shrouder on those. And I want to also add a reflector to help reflect light down. Now one of the issues you can see are the lines moving down. That's because of the frequency of the inverter and how quickly LEDs react to power. Let's go to high speed. So as you can see, all of these lights flicker to varying degrees. The tiny ones flicker really bad, while the bigger ones have less of a flicker. Now the issue is, as I increase the light, the shutter speed of the camera will decrease, meaning that the flickering might get worse, or actually it should get worse. So, this might be a big pain. But, I'm thinking, I might be able to add at least a diode to one end of the inverter. Because really, these things are run off of DC power. So, I think I'm going to see about adding a diode or a rectifier or something like that to the end. I'll make sure that whatever voltage the rectifier outputs, like it might be the peak voltage, like 160 volts. I'll make sure that it doesn't fry the LEDs. And then I can see about running them off of it and adding a big capacitor to it so all the lights will be pretty steady. Now there is an issue that these are just super cheap bulbs and they only work when power is going one way. They could have the polarity flipped, meaning that if I put DC through them all, every other one could be on. So I might also see about building like a little adapter that would f that would cross the wires so anyone that wasn't on with the DC going up a certain polarity I would just put the adapter on it and then that would turn on because it would be flipping the wires around because LEDs are inherently DC items components that's the word I was looking for I'm really happy with this I love the style especially of these bigger bulbs it's a shame they're kind of pricey I might see be buying some cheaper ones from China but yeah, it's just uh, something I'm playing around with, and I'd like to have your guys' opinions of it. This entire strand with these bulbs are only 14 watts. That's why, like, even a medium-sized capacitor, if it was a DC source, but like a, a varying DC source from the inverter, then even a, a medium-sized capacitor could, could probably even out that a lot. You know what I mean? Stupid train. To be honest, I actually like living next to the train tracks. It makes me really happy to hear the train. It really does. It's just, it's really soothing to my ears to hear the train going by like you're hearing right now. Especially whenever you can see, you can hear like there's a flat spot on one of the wheels and it, you can hear it going by. It's so freaking cool. So fucking cool. The light strobing doesn't seem to have much of an effect right here because of course the shutter speed increases so it doesn't matter anymore but it's going to be an issue once I start adding more bulbs to it 
So I did kind of goof and the Solar Sunday that will be after this is actually going to be before this. This is just like a question video. I might just, I might not put it up as a Solar Sunday. I don't know. But I feel like doing another Solar Sunday. Like I, I don't feel like waiting until next week to upload the Solar Sunday. I want to upload a Solar Sunday now. Because it's funny, a couple of days ago I was working on a Solar Sunday and I got it done and it fits into my, my schedule to where that will be uploaded next Sunday. But I, I just I just got these and I was like, well shit, I want to make a video like right now before I even start working on these because I want to get your guys' opinions. So yeah, the next Solar Sunday is going to be like a little bit flipped around. It's going to be the one before this where I'm not redoing really anything with this. And you guys might not see anything with this for a couple weeks because I want to get a few things going before then and maybe like focus on the yard or something like that. So I don't know. But yeah. Hopefully within a month I'll have this, this stuff up. And hopefully you'll be able to see it by then. But now is the time to give your input. Okay? I'd like to hear your input. Especially because I might be overlooking something due to electronical stuff. Because I'm more of like a mechanical person or high current, like battery kind of person. I'm not like high voltage DC or anything, so maybe I'm overlooking something. You know, it's actually not collecting the bugs nearly as bad as I would have expected. I think the yellow, the yellowish light does help a lot with that. Well, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a very good Solar Sunday. See ya.